My name is Virtue Rosalie. Welcome to another episode of Uncolored Remark and Tav TV, where we bring to you top training, just an entertainment that you don't want to miss. So on today's episode of Uncolored Remark, we're going to be talking about the person that's pulling that Choma Davido's wife had an affair with Berizzi. This is going to be interesting. So stay tuned and don't go anywhere while we go on a quick break and we'll be right back. Welcome back. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more entertaining videos like this one because you really don't want to miss all these sort of things. So, like I said, I've always been promising that I'll be coming with interesting hodges, and I did not fail. So, I brought another one. We all remember the time that one person like that was speculating. In fact, not even the one person was speculating. A rumor was going around that Chioma and Perez was having an affair. And that, that is why Choma and David broke up as of that time. Like, some people believe this. Some people like, ah, Chodo, I don't trust women, no. you know, fear women. Women will stay in your white and stuff like that. <laughs> if you're active on social media, you heard of that rumor at that, at that point in time. And some people were like, eh, that Perizzi and the widow are no longer cool and no longer talking terms because Perizzi was having an affair with Choma. So it turns out it was just a fake rumor because the person that made a tweet that caused that kind of rumor has come online to apologize for making that tweet. So this guy did not only accuse Chioma of having an affair with Perizzi. He created an account pretending to be Perizzi and tweeted that he, in the tweet, he made people believe that he was having an affair with Chioma, the widow's wife, and that he has been the one writing the widow's songs. And that without him, they don't have blown and they don't have gone far in his career. Like, can you imagine the level of wickedness? So it is obvious that Peruzzi's legal team reached out to this person. And so the person now decided to now come online and apologize, you know, and tweet again. And in his tweet, he apologized. He wrote, I apologize for posting an edited tweet which involves Peruzzi and David Doe. I take full responsibility for all my actions and I promise it will never happen again. My apologies to DMW management, he wrote. Like, this is so uncalled for. Like, this is absolutely uncalled for. People be looking for cheap fame these days. Like, the internet is driving people crazy because most people that do these things, it's not like they have any personal beef with this celebrity. They are doing these things just for cheap fame, just so that they can get so much likes and comments and engagement on their tweets and whatever. Just for cheap fame, like people are going crazy because of social media. And I have been saying this, and I keep saying that. See, eh, not be everybody will blow for this social media when you did. And truth be that, if you are meant to blow, you will blow. You feel you will fake your own debts. You feel still not blow. So it's not by going around spreading rumors that will make you blow in this life. If you are meant to blow, you will blow without spoiling people's name. Why do you have to look for cheap fame? Yes, I call it cheap fame because you're going viral or you're getting comments by actually spoiling someone's name like this kind of things tell me how you want to continue to hold like then how do you want to continue to keep up you know that you're popular because you 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 became popular through the wrong way by spoiling someone's name and the funny thing is that this kind of cheap popularity doesn't even last after some time we don't forget you don't forget who you are you know what you got there are there are celebrities there are people in the past that have faked their debts they did not blow so what makes you think that you will blow or you will make it by spoiling someone's name or someone's career? It doesn't make sense. People that have actually blown <laughs> on social media, they did not even put so much effort. They were just doing their thing. They were just doing what they love. They were just doing something. They had they had passion for talent. And then it was their time. And they, they became big. So you don't have to spoil someone's name. You don't have to spoil someone's name for you to... So you know, go viral. And then this is a lesson to people that always feel say that eh, in every rumor there is a there's an atom of truth. It's a lie. There are some rumors that there is no atom of truth. There are some times that people just want to spoil your name. Have you ever been in a situation whereby you hear something about you that you would not be wondering that is there someone else? <laughs> is there someone else wearing your body and going around doing things that you never thought of? Because it's really crazy. Sometimes there are rumors that there are there are no atom of truth in them. 
Some people say, oh, every rumor that goes goes around, there's an atom of truth. But sometimes there are rumors that there is no atom of truth. Some jobless person, some useless person just wants to spoil someone's day. Yes, it happens. This is really bad. I don't, I don't, I would never, I would never ever wrap my head around things like this. So these are my thoughts, my dear viewers. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, and I'll see you in my next video.